everybody. Uh, happy January 31st. Uh, I'm shooting today, so I'm wearing, um, I'm actually going bare legged. Yes, bare legged. That's my knees. Um, women in New York will wear heels in the middle of the winter with bare legs. So I'm channeling my women of New York. Uh, I'm shooting at Blanche McDonald and the last time I shot there we were all like ridiculously hot and I know I have a turtleneck on. I like to wear black when I shoot because I blend in but this is also a way to like when I'm waiting I can air condition. <laughs> the, the neck is not so bad. Anyway I'm joining you today for a lean fine video. Finally December wasn't a great month. Uh, January was very sparse. Uh, we did have a lot of um, snow for Vancouver. I know not for any of you other provinces and please people in Calgary, Edmonton, don't at me. I know that you're getting a worse winter and I totally empathize with you because I grew up in Nova Scotia, which also had an incredible winter this year. So uh, December I was sick, but I had gigs and then there was the holidays. January, I've been doing my best to collect. I have four or, or three bags. Um, I'm gonna probably do separate videos. Uh, <laughs> here they are. I wanna start with something that's really cool, actually. This was actually just hanging up. Some of the garbage bins have uh, chicken wire uh, enclosures, not exposures. And uh, they will have little like, I don't know, posts that kind of join them all together. And this was hanging on one of the posts. Isn't that like, I wanna, isn't that fun? I love it so much, it's so cool. It's actually Forever 21, which kind of makes me a little bit sad, but what a great find. Yeah, it was just hanging there like this. And unless you knew to kind of look for the sparkles, you wouldn't see it, but I did. And less than a block away, I found this. So, Angela Lady, it's this beautiful necklace. I'm gonna show you. Look at that. Beautiful. And I'm actually wearing a necklace today. This is um, costume jewelry that a friend of mine gave me. Um, it's a tribute to her because I'm working, she's over on the island now, she's finished her graduate degree and I haven't worked with her since, but today I'm working with a friend and we all used to work together. So it's a tribute to Hannah, Hannah Banana, I miss you. And I found this. So I've been thinking a lot about my diet lately because in January I went back to the gym and uh, I'm actually reading a book about a guy who was severely obese and he decided to find a dietitian. The dietitian prescribed uh, a new diet to him that was meat free, also oil free and um, as much sugar free as he could do and uh, prescribed getting a dog. So it's called Walking with PD and PD is spelled P-E-E-T-Y. It's a beautiful book, but in that book, um, there's quite a bit of conversation about food because he's fairly obese. Uh, the book opens with him talking about how it's hard for him to move around in the world, to get on a plane, to go to the grocery store. He actually would, instead of doing laundry in his apartment building, he would just buy new socks and underwear from Amazon and put the ones that he didn't, that, that had, he had worn in his spare room. So there's like this huge pile of it. Anyway, I'm rambling. It's a really good book. So when he goes to see this dietitian, he takes her really seriously and she prescribes beans and rice. And those of you that know me know that I lived in the Caribbean for, I guess about four years. And lo and behold, last night when I was on my way home, I found this little mini rice cooker. It's like brand new and it was not raining. So I know that it will work, which is really cool. That paper bag I just picked up so that I could carry it home. I carried it in my arm like a baby. So I see some rice and beans in my future. And you might be like, mm, that's really gross. It isn't, it's really good. The West Indians um, really know how to use spices. And I learned some of that when I was down there. Nutmeg can be awesome. It can be really sweet or you can make it bitter too. Oh, I have a little bald spot there. I've had it forever. I don't know why I've had it. I remember somebody asking me about it when I was in my teen years, if I twisted my hair on that side, I think my hair just didn't grow in in that area. 
Anyway, way off track. Uh, where do I start? So I think I'm gonna put these in their own video because I'm rambling. And I'm gonna go over this one. So this was yesterday's finds uh, on my way to the gym. It wasn't raining, so I picked these things up. These are great. These are um, Wranglers. They're size 40, which is massive. But look at the, like, it's like an elastic waistband on the inside. So it helps, I guess, if you are this size, maybe it helps keep them up. Anyway, vintage, old school Wranglers. You know me, my love of denim. I don't care what size it is. I'm going to pick it up. And then this bag, just basically like of scarves. <laughs> They're so fun. There's like 10 of them in here. This one is actually really cute. I might keep it for a headband. Maybe, we'll see. Um, oh, this is a silk pillowcase, uh, which is something I guess is good for you to have. I've never had one. Scarves. It's all just scarves. So this person probably collected, well, this is actually probably a sarong, the peace sign on it that's upside down. Cute for the beach. This one has a nice paisley print on the side. This one is so fun. <laughs> this is a fun video. And then there's a hairbrush. It's brand new, never been used. So yeah, that's it. Um, Gloria is coming on February 17th, so I'm gonna give this stuff that I have to her. And if you saw my other video recapping December, you'll know that I'm working at The Only Vintage. It's on Davy at Jervis. If you're an old school uh, West Ender, it's where Blockbuster Video used to be. It's a huge store. It's awesome. Um, we carry vintage. We go to the warehouse and we pick it. We do not accept donations, but they do accept consignment from staff. Staff only, nobody else. So please do not bring your stuff in. It's just from staff. So we, I have a consignment bag that I'm gonna give. Anyway, more to come. Oh, we want a little bit more glitter before we go. Maybe we'll go out with the glitter. Okay, I'm back with bag number two, which will probably go for consignment at the only. And I just wanted to show you this uh, awesome uh, trench coat that I got. Uh, it's military issue, which is really cool. Uh, it's, I've never really had uh, a trench coat and I kind of love the fact that I'm gonna be able to wear this today to the shoot and it's a nice, it's not black. It's like a nice contrast. I love military issue stuff. Love it. It's just really fun. And it costs like next to nothing. You know me, I like to be thrifty. So let's go through this bag. Um, Zara, black jeans, size four. Tried them, they don't fit. Um, part of the reason why I'm going to the gym and thinking about eating rice is there's a little kind of puff in my midsection I've never had before. I'm gonna try to make it smaller. Club Monaco Merino vest, which people are selling things that are custom ripped now, so. This is really cool. I found this soaking wet in the rain. The next few things I found soaking wet in the rain. So I figure out a way to put them. I usually always carry a shopping bag. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so I figure out a way to kind of get them in there and then get them home. I don't really care if it makes me wet on the way because I already am. This Chaps sweater, 100% cotton, really nice. I've washed a lot of this stuff already too, because if it's been wet on the street, it probably doesn't smell the greatest. So I don't want to dry it and donate it. I want to clean it first. Uh, these are things I already had in my wardrobe, but I'm going to set them. They're Volcom. Just, you've seen me wear them before in videos. I like them, but I have replaced them with a better pair of pants that are more fun and fit me a little bit better. <laughs> Um, oh, this is fun. This little H&M sweater. Nice cable knit on the front. And then it's kind of like a shawl collar. Or something. Like it's not a hood. It's kind of just like this little rollover. 
Um, oh, this is, I don't, I don't know what brand this is. There's no tag anywhere. Super soft. It's like an army green shirt. Cotton. I can tell it's cotton because I can feel it. Um, and a couple of dress shirts. So these are both um, Banana Republic. Banana Republic makes really good dress shirts. So if you ever find them like secondhand and they're cheap, buy them because they last forever. This is really nice. You'd be surprised at the amount of guys that um, shop for like formal clothing at a secondhand store. So words out that you don't need to go to the mall anymore. This one's really nice. It's black. The light, the filter on the camera on the iPhone goes a little bit weird when I uh, hold up something with color. I do not have an iPhone 15, which according to Peter McKinnon is changing photography. Um, we're only like three and a half minutes in, so maybe I'll go through it for the other bag that I found last night. So yeah, that's stuff I found, I will take for consignment. And then last night on my way home, uh, there was a suitcase and I went over, I always check and see if they're full. It wasn't full, but it did have this bag of stuff right next to it. This reminds me of um, Aritzia. It's a brand I've never heard of before. It's Hamies, I don't know. Weird, huh? It's really soft. So Gloria is coming on February 16th or 17th. So I think I might put this stuff for her because there's warm pajamas. Really nice fleece warm pajamas. I will not use these. I like to sleep in cotton, not polyester. There's quite a few like white plain tank tops in this bag. Um, this might be fun. I don't know. It's the same kind of style of shirt. Uh, but this one is from a different brand. Again, super soft. Um, another white tank top, actually two of them. This is from Eddie Bauer, another a store I don't ever really shop in. I used to shop in it when I um, lived back east. I would always check their sale rack. This is a dress, I don't know. Brand is Hatley. This reminds me of something that somebody would wear like on a golf course or something. It's a crazy print. And another soft shirt. This one is Olsen. So yeah, those are the finds. This is my new coat. I don't have any makeup on yet and no glasses. I did go to the eye doctor and I do have a new prescription. So my eyes are getting a little bit different. And I have polled everybody that I know with all the glasses that I have and asked them if I should get a different frame. And the general consensus is no. So I'm choosing the same metal wire frame, only not in black, but in gunmetal. So I'll be able to tell the prescriptions apart. So yeah, and I'm going to clearly contacts because they just have the cheapest, and I really like their customer service. Anyway, I hope you guys are well. I hope you enjoyed this uh, brief but uh, exciting version of the lane finds and the personal updates. Um, share yours. I'd love to hear them. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hello, everybody. Um, lane finds edition, late afternoon. It's a little bit dark, so I turned uh, a lamp on. I feel like you're a little bit close. There we go. Uh, I just found this. I was on walkabout getting my steps in. I'm trying to get 10,000 a day. And I just found this. It's a whole, I don't know how many. I'm going to count. I already looked at it. I must admit. Um, it's a ton of black t-shirts. And whoever wore them, they're worn in the front. So they were probably like leaning on a counter or something. Maybe they needed them for a uniform. But let's count. So here's one. Wow. Tank top doesn't really count. Two. Three. 
three. Four. Five. Uh, these are silk shorts. Also black. <laughs> Six. I don't know if you can see on this one where it's worn out. Yeah, see? Every shirt is kind of worn like that, just in the front. Is that six? I hope so. <laughs> Three pairs of shorts. This person is also very tiny. Six. I'm just taking it at six. Um. Seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm just so we're recapping. It's all in the front every shirt. So that's 10. Eleven. Long sleeve. Twelve. Thirteen. Fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, Twenty. I'm counting this because uh, I think, yeah, this has many, many holes in it. Twenty-one. Let's count that other. Twenty-two. So let's say twenty-two black shirts. And then there's a smattering of white ones. This one's kind of fun. Uh, this is a blouse from uh, Aritzia. It's really pretty. It's purple. You can't really, can you see? Yeah. I'm going to keep that one. Um, this tank top says Night Owl. <laughs> Another purple shirt. Uh, I don't think this is Aritzia. The tag is out. Um... Uh, this is a really interesting, maybe like a leisure, like a nightgown or something. This is from Scotch and Soda, if you guys know that brand, it's super bougie. And then one last one, dark gray. And this guy, he's an, it's a nightgown with an elephant on it really cute and I think this is hilarious massive fashion clearance it's really funny and they were all stuffed in this white bag so yeah whoever wore these shirts definitely um, wore them for a purpose every single one of them is like they were probably they're probably I'm guessing they're bartending because they're they have you have to wear black when you work in service and they're probably leaning on the counter a lot. Bartenders lean on counters a lot. So yeah, that's it. Plain finds for today. It's February 1. 
So 20 black t-shirts. I wonder what the rest of the month's gonna bring. Stay tuned.